With the release of Filmic Pro 6.18 on both iOS and Android, we are thrilled to announce full support for the Xeon Smooth 5, the most advanced gimbal for mobile cinematography with full support for rack focusing via the signature manual side wheel, as well as access to fast lens switching directly from the hardware controls, and so much more. To pair Filmic Pro with your Smooth 5, First, activate the gimbal using the ZY Kami app if this is the first time you're using this gimbal. Then turn on Bluetooth on your smartphone and power up your gimbal. Launch Filmic Pro and open Settings, Hardware, and enable the Xeon Smooth 4.5 toggle, then tap to connect to your device. You'll get a confirmation of successful pairing in the HUD. Due to the advanced functionality of the Smooth 5, Let's start with a quick overview of the Smooth 5's hardware button layout as it pertains to Filmic Pro. On the front of the gimbal is the main control surface. In the lower left is the joystick. This allows you to control your pan and tilt. It is pressure sensitive, allowing you to dynamically adjust the speed of these moves. Above this is the menu button. This will allow you to open and close Filmic Pro's settings menu. At the very top is an LED panel that tells you your current gimbal mode. This is tied directly to the gimbal mode button located above the record button and controls how your gimbal responds to movement. Next we have the center thumb wheel that also doubles as a D-pad. This allows you to engage with Filmic Pro shooting modes via a left, right, up, down, click, as well as to scroll the wheel to make manual exposure adjustments. In the very center is the Filmic Shooting Mode button, which also allows you to access the LED light functionality available on the Smooth 5. Lastly, we have the Record button that will allow you to start and stop recordings via a single press. On the left-hand side of the Smooth 5 is the Side Focus Wheel. This is used to pull focus in Filmic Pro. The button located inside of this cannot be used with Filmic Pro due to restrictions in the Smooth 5 SDK. On the right-hand side of the gimbal is the Power and Function button. The Function button is used to change lenses in Filmic Pro. And on the rear of the gimbal is the trigger. Double-pressing this will reset the gimbal position. Triple-tapping this will rotate the camera 180 degrees. Now we understand the control layout of the Smooth 5, let's look at using Filmic Pro's shooting modes. Mode 1 is reticle mode. In this mode, a left press on the thumb wheel will lock and unlock the exposure reticle. A right press will lock and unlock the focus reticle. An up press will lock and unlock both reticles concurrently. And a down press will open and close the Filmic Pro library. To enter mode 2, Auto Mode, press the Center Shooting Mode button once. This will switch to Filmic Pro's full-frame center-weighted reticles, which provide a much better experience for autofocus and exposure, and is well suited to vlogging on the rear camera when you can't monitor yourself using the screen. The same thumb wheel controls from Mode 1 apply here. A left press will lock and unlock the full-frame auto exposure reticle. A right press will lock and unlock the full-frame focus reticle and an up press will lock and unlock both reticles concurrently, and a down press will open and close the Filmic library. To enter mode three, manual mode, press the center shooting mode button again. This reveals the manual arcs, with the exposure arc on the left and the focus arc on the right. Scroll the thumb wheel to adjust manual exposure, and turn the side focus wheel to adjust your manual focus. In Mode 3, a right press of the thumb wheel D-pad will engage your focus pull points. To set your pull points, use the side focus wheel to choose your starting pull point position, then tap the current focus marker to snap pull point 1 into position. Then use the side focus wheel to set your end focus position, and tap the center focus point marker to snap it into position. Now you can press the right D-pad to engage your pull points. The same technique applies to the exposure arc and a left press on the thumb wheel D-pad. 
Press the shooting mode button again to return to reticle mode. One of the most useful features of our Smooth 5 integration and the Smooth 4 before it is the ability to perform a manual focus or exposure override in reticle and auto modes. For example, at any point during filming in mode 1 or 2, you can take full control over the focus just by adjusting the side focus wheel. Your exposure reticle will continue to function in its current state. To dismiss the focus arc, just press right on the center wheel thumb pad. The same applies to exposure. In mode 1 or 2, just adjust the thumb wheel to reveal the manual exposure arc and take full control over exposure while your focus reticle continues to do its thing. Again, to dismiss the exposure arc, press left on the thumb wheel. Filmic Pro offers full support for fast lens switching from the Smooth 5 using the function button on the right hand side of the gimbal. A single press of the function button will switch between your last used rear lens and the selfie camera. A long press and hold of the function button will reveal the manual lens picker. You can either scroll the thumb wheel to select your lens and press the center shooting mode button to accept, or you can simply click on the corresponding D-pad to make an instant selection. The LED light that attaches magnetically to your Smooth 5 can be used with Filmic Pro. Just long press the center shooting mode button to enable it. Once turned on, Filmic Pro no longer has the option to control manual exposure, however, and the thumb wheel now adjusts the intensity of the LED light. To restore control over the manual exposure arc, just long press the center shooting mode button to disable the LED. <music> Lastly, with the side focus wheel and exposure thumb wheel being at the very core of Filmic Pro's Smooth 5 integration, we allow you to manually define the responsiveness of each to achieve perfect results for your shooting style. To do this, reveal the manual arcs and then swipe in from the edge of each arc to reveal the variable speed slider. By default, this is set to a speed of five, but you can decrease or increase the speed until you achieve the perfect tactile response. We hope this video helps you make the most of your Smooth 5 with Filmic Pro. Please subscribe to our channel for more, and if you enjoy filming with the app, consider leaving a review on the App Store. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.